Hey guys, so I just got done bathing Kai and I wanted to go ahead and do this video because I'm almost finished filming my entire series of Two Looks One Palette, which I've already said that once I do that I'm gonna take a break off of filming because I have so many pre-filmed videos now. Um it's gonna be ridiculous. But anyways, for Two Looks One Palette, today we are focusing on the Pat McGrath mothership one subliminal i have the second mothership also in my collection it just hasn't been added yet because i'm filming this may 17th and i got it during the month of may so i haven't added it to my collection until may is over with and then once i do i will obviously update my two looks on palettes i'm gonna take my la colors eye primer in the matte finish this is the best mothership in my opinion i like the color story I have talked about it before. I don't think Pat's um, motherships are actually the best value you're going to get from any kind of luxury brand. So there are, in my eyes, there's actually four, but I've only tried three. There are three luxury brands that kind of reign supreme, and that is going to be Pat McGrath, Natasha Denona, and Charlotte Tilbury. So Charlotte Tilbury is pretty expensive and pricey, but for me personally, I feel like Charlotte Tilbury is just you're getting good quality, and you're getting Charlotte's name attached to it, and the Pillow Talk icon basically attached to it, because I'm pretty sure she sells more Pillow Talk products than anything. So I personally feel like that is what you are getting with Charlotte Tilbury. You're paying a hefty price for Charlotte's name, but you are going to get a good quality. Pat McGrath has artistry in her um, products. She has this uniqueness right here, and it feels luxury. I mean, like, I had one of my friends hold this once, and they were like, that is heavy. So these used to be $125. They are now $128. So this is what Subliminal looks like, in case you are curious. I have no idea what look I'm going to go for today. Ugh. Let's just go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna take, I keep this because I don't know the names. Um, Ultimate Taupe is the shade I'm gonna take. Because, is it on the back? No, they're not on the back and they're not on the palette either. I'm actually gonna do Ultimate Taupe for both eyes. I mean, there's only three mattes. So I personally feel like Natasha Denona is the best brand you are going to get for the price because for this price of $128 you can spend $2 less $126 and get an 18 pan palette from Natasha Denona and her biggest pan sizes. I'm going to take the shade Depth which is this right here and work it into the crease. So because there's only three mattes I'm just going to I think I'm going to try and take her Blitz Astral shades. Pat McGrath, though, even though I do feel like she is a little overpriced for what you get, she has the most unique formulas. Natasha Denona has unique formulas also, but I feel like Pat McGrath has more unique formulas. And I personally, when I went into getting luxury brands, it was, for me personally, Natasha Denona, Charlotte Tilbury, and then Pat McGrath. It has became Natasha Denona number one, Pat McGrath number two, and then Charlotte Tilbury. I'm going to try Danessa Myricks also, so Danessa Myricks is going to be in that area. I just haven't really tried her product, so I can't say anything. I'm going to take Blitz Blue, which is the whole reason I wanted this palette, because I don't feel like I have a blue like that in my whole collection. Kai, please stop pinching me. I mean, that is the ha 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 man. Stunning, honey. Stunning. This is honestly a great cool tone palette. I feel like this palette and maybe the glam palette, I'm going to take a little bit more of Ultimate Taupe and then Depth. Crease. I'm going to take Extreme Black. This is the best matte black you are going to get. And she has it in her first three motherships. So you don't have to get this just to get the um, Extreme Black. I actually think she has it in a single also. They don't sell it at Sephora though. So I'm going to take the shade VR Violet right here. Which this is a stunning shade also. And I'm going to apply it 
right there. And then put a little bit more blue there. Y'all. You guys, that is not stunning on top of that Blitz Blue shade. Are you serious? Like, kidding me? That is gorgeous. I'm going to take Skin Show Nude, which is the best shimmer nude color, and put that on the brow bone. Of course, no additional product because there's a lot on here. I'm going to take, is it called Astral White? Right here. And just clean this off. Astral White, honestly. I miss. Finger! Pat McGrath shadows work best with your finger, I think. Okay. Okay, so I use my NYC liquid liner to do a wing. I use Urban Decay and Prince is so dark. And I use my Anastasia Lash Bag Mascara to finish this eye that I'm going to call Blitz Blue. Okay, so typically those are the shades I reach for whenever I reach into this palette because they're just so stunning. Let me reach into Pale Gold 002, which is that shade, because I don't ever typically reach into that shade, so why not use it on this one? Maybe do something super simple? I'm kind of into that. Okay, uh, taking Skin Show Nude again. Because honestly, Pale Gold and Skin Show Nude are really good together. Nothing else is on this brush. Taking Astral White again. Astral White is definitely more blue. And that was pretty simple. So all I did on this eye was the Anastasia Lash Bag Mascara, because that's all I was really feeling. So two very different looks using the same palette that is $128 now. Definitely a pricey botch. Um, I'm going to do a guy, ultimate guide to Charlotte Tilbury, Danessa Myricks, Pat McGrath, and, Charlotte, or, and Natasha Denona, I think. I've used mostly more Natasha Denona and Pat McGrath, but I will try Char more Charlotte Tilbury, and I'm definitely trying Danessa Myricks, so I can... Do that. That's going to be a lot of fun. But anyways, these are the two looks I created. I think that you are definitely getting a great value with this. I just personally, I would prefer to recommend Natasha Denona because you're going to get more product for the same price. But if you do get Pat McGrath, I mean, this is a work of art. And she honestly has more unique formulas than, Char uh, than Natasha Denona does. But anyways, so this is the Blitz Blue Eye. What do you guys think of the look I created? It's still so pretty. And this is my gold eye. Which eye do you prefer? Let me know down below. Um, I'm leaning more towards this just because this is the typical look I do whenever I reach into this palette. That's just what I reach for. I don't ever reach for that pale gold color. I've even said that, which is this, this is the first time I'm ever seeing pale gold on my eyes. I'm not gonna lie. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, so like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell. All that social media great stuff really helps this channel out. I'm going to end it here, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Kai, you can go ahead and say your bye-byes. <laughs>